And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. July 29th, 1981. 31 years ago today. Wedding day for the world's most celebrated couple. Prince Charles and Diana Spencer were married at St. Paul's Cathedral in London that day with all the pomp and pageantry the British monarchy could muster. An estimated 750 million people around the world watched on TV as Charles and Diana exchanged their vows. I, Charles Philip Arthur George. Take thee, Diana Francis. Take thee, Diana Francis. Take thee, Charles Philip Arthur George. Take thee, Philip Charles Arthur George. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. A fairy tale wedding, people called it. And a fairy tale time would prove it to be, only not in the sense originally intended. In short order, Diana produced two sons, William and Harry. An heir and a spare, as the saying went. But as the years went by, tales of Charles and Diana's troubled marriage became gossip sheet fodder, ending eventually in their divorce in 1996. One year later, Diana was dead, killed in a car crash in Paris. Once again, the eyes of the world were on London, this time for Diana's funeral. Two more royal weddings of note would follow. In a low-key civil ceremony in 2005, Prince Charles married Camilla Parker Bowles, whom Diana had once called the third person in their marriage. And in 2011, Prince William married Kate Middleton in an elaborate ceremony at Westminster Abbey. So popular is Prince William now that, according to one recent opinion poll, the British people would prefer him as their next monarch over Charles by a margin of 48 to 39%. As for William and Harry's mother, people all over the world still revere Diana for her grace and for her charitable work on behalf of AIDS sufferers, among many other causes. Hard to believe that the young bride we saw at St. Paul's all those years ago would, if she had lived, have turned 51 years old this month.